Right, here we go again, guys. Um, my, 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 my speaker's under attack. Just a second ago, it won't work, and now all this interference has come on it. The Lord rebuke that interference and take it off this right now in the name, the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That the gospel has free course. Amen. God bless you, York. I have come here to tell you the good news that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God loves you, but you have the choice. You have free will to either accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Because the Bible makes it very clear. The Bible is the Word of God. And in it, it tells us that we all have sinned. And we all fall short of the glory of God. And that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone, is eternal, everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For anybody and everybody who believes no matter what you have done, turn to the Lord Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for all our sins. He was buried. He rose again on the third day, according to the Scriptures. And if you believe this in your heart and call upon Jesus, it is the only requirement for you to be saved. But Jesus said, unless you repent, Unless you change your mind and believe the gospel, you will all perish. That means you will end up in hell for eternity. Please change your mind. Repent. Lay hold of your salvation. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And if you reject the Lord Jesus, I'm sorry to tell you, but you will end up in hell. Please, therefore, repent, change your minds, lay hold of your salvation. Be sure of where you are spending your eternity. The choice is yours, heaven or hell. And there's only one name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved, and it is Jesus Christ who said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the light. Jesus said, no man comes to the Father God but through me. Please, turn to the Lord Jesus. Jesus has promised that he will not turn anybody away, no matter what you have done. He will not turn anybody away who comes to him. Turn to the Lord Jesus. Call upon him. Be sure of your eternal security. Be sure of where you are spending eternity. There is a heaven. There is a hell. And if you reject the Lord Jesus, you will end up in hell. Please change your minds. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved. No, sir, I won't be quiet, because this is the most important message that anybody and everybody will ever hear, and it is the gospel, because when you believe the gospel, you will be saved. If you reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, you will perish. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heaven or hell, the choice is yours. The only way to make it into heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Be an any man. Do not be ashamed of the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this sinful and adulterous generation of him also, shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Jesus Christ is coming. Time is almost up. Please lay hold of your salvation. 
Jesus Christ is about to tear open the heavens above. He's about to descend with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will be resurrected first. And then all believers which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture. Therefore, do not be left behind. Lay hold of your salvation. Because this world, according to the prophet Isaiah, is about to be turned upside down during what Jesus described as the Great Tribulation. Seven years when this world will indeed be turned upside down, when God shall pour out his wrath and his judgments upon an unbelieving, unrepenting world which has turned its back on our Holy Father in heaven. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and unto our God for he will abundantly pardon. Turn to the Lord Jesus now. Do not be left behind because Jesus is coming. The rapture is about to take place. All Christians are about to be taken up into heaven in the rapture. Lay hold of your salvation because Jesus Christ said, unless you repent, unless you change your minds and believe, you will all perish, meaning you will end up in hell for eternity. Repent therefore, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Do not be ashamed of the Lord Jesus, because he will be ashamed of you when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Lay hold of your salvation. Repent. Change your minds. Believe the gospel. Be sure of your eternal destination, heaven or hell. Secure your eternal salvation by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation for anybody and everyone who believes. Lay hold of your salvation. Lay hold of your salvation. You're listening to the most important message that you will ever hear. And it is the gospel of Jesus Christ. How that Jesus died on the cross. He took the penalty in full for all our sins, past, present and future sins when you believe. He was buried, he rose again from the dead on the third day. And if you confess with your mouth and say, yes, I believe, Lord Jesus, come into my life, Lord Jesus, and you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But Jesus said, unless you change your mind and repent, you will not be saved and you will perish and you will land yourself in hell. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And your decision to accept or reject the King, Lord Jesus Christ, will determine where you spend your eternity. Please lay hold of your salvation. For there is none other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man's going to make it to heaven but through the Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Be an any man. Be an any woman. Lay hold of your salvation. Be sure of where you are spending eternity. Many of you think it's a joke. Many of you are gambling away your soul. Many of you, unfortunately, will not find out how real hell is until you are in there. Why take the gamble that heaven and hell are not real? They are two literal places and you will spend eternity in one of two places, heaven or hell. Jesus Christ and heaven, reject the Lord Jesus and find yourself in hell. 
Repent therefore, for the kingdom of heaven is at stake. Time is running out. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Do not be left behind, because Jesus is about to take all believers up into heaven in the rapture. Do not be left behind. If you witness a great vanishing of all Christians in the rapture and you find yourself left behind, you will still be able to be saved. But you must not take the mark of the beast, for this one world leader is about to make his appearance on the world stage. This man will proclaim himself to be God. He will say, I am the Messiah. He will proclaim to know all the answers. He will proclaim to have all the solutions to the world's problems. But he is the Antichrist. And he will cause everyone, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in your right hand or in your forehead, the mark of the beast. You won't be able to buy or sell anything unless you have the mark in your right hand or in your forehead. But if you take it, you will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. The destruction of the soul for eternity in the lake of fire. That doesn't need to happen to you. Lay hold of your salvation now. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved. The gospel is that Jesus was sacrificed on the cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day. That's the blessed gospel. And when you believe it in your hearts and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever. Call upon Jesus. Make sure that you're going to heaven and not going down to hell. Do not take the gamble that there's no heaven, that there's no hell. Because there is. Your body contains your soul, and your soul, when you die, will go to one of two places, heaven or hell, and the choice is yours. The only way anybody's making it to heaven is through the Lord Jesus, because the Bible makes it very clear that we all have sinned, and we all fall short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone, is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ for anybody and everybody who believes. If anybody would like a free Bible, please take one. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, Jesus Christ is faithful and just to forgive us all our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and his word and his truth are not in us. Please change your mind, repent, turn to the Lord Jesus while you still have breath in your lungs. Because you are not guaranteed your next breath. You are not guaranteed to wake up tomorrow. And when you draw your last breath, you will go straight to the judgment seat of the Almighty God. And without the Lord Jesus to have paid the debts for all your sin, you will not be granted access into heaven. And you will find yourself in hell, in outer darkness, where there is weeping and wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die and the fire never goes out. And if you reject the Lord Jesus, I'm sorry to say, that's where you'll find yourself, in hell, in outer darkness. Please, therefore, repent and change your minds. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your eternity will be secure in heaven. You will have eternal security and you will never lose your salvation.
Because Jesus Christ said, unless you repent, unless you change your mind from your unbelief and believe the good news, you will all perish in hell. Please, lay hold of your salvation. Every one of you has the right to lay hold of your salvation. We have a choice. God has given us a free will either to accept or reject the free gift of God, everlasting life through Jesus Christ, or reject it. And only find out how real hell is when you're in there. Please repent. Please change your minds and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. There is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for anybody and everybody who believes. I'm not preaching religion. I'm pre preaching salvation. I'm preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's not about going to church every Sunday. That will not save you. Only the shed blood of Jesus Christ will save you. Jesus shed his blood on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. Believe this in your heart. Call upon Jesus and you will be saved. But Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this sinful and adulterous generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation for anybody and everyone who believes. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. Reject the Lord Jesus Christ and you will spend eternity in hell. With the heart man believes unto righteousness and is justified and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation that if you with your mouth confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead you will be saved that's how simple it is to be saved and know that you are going to heaven for eternity and not going down to hell. Please change your minds. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Any moment now, and the Lord Jesus Christ is going to tear open the heavens above. He's going to descend with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first, and then all believers which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, in the rapture. Don't be left behind. Lay hold of your salvation. Be sure of your eternal security and destination, heaven or hell. Please repent, change your minds, believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved. If you reject the Lord Jesus, I'm sorry to tell you, but you will spend eternity in hell. If you want to make it to heaven and escape the damnation of hell, the only requirement is that you believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says we all have sinned. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ for anybody and everybody who believes. No matter what you have done, Jesus has promised that he will never turn anybody away who comes to him. So go to the Lord Jesus. Make sure of where you are spending eternity. Lay hold of your salvation. For there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Only Jesus Christ. 
who said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No man is making it to heaven but through the Lord Jesus. If you reject the Lord Jesus, you will find yourself in hell. Please repent. Please change your mind. Lay hold of your salvation. Be sure of where you are spending eternity. None of us are guaranteed our next breath. When you draw your last breath, you go into eternity, heaven or hell. Without the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not make it to heaven. Please consider what I am saying. If you haven't already done so, lay hold of your salvation. Time is running out. Jesus Christ is coming for all believers in the rapture. The rapture is about to take place. Jesus Christ is coming. He's going to take all believers up into heaven in the rapture. Do not be left behind. You will still be able to be saved if you find yourself left behind. But you must not take the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead. Because at any moment after the rapture of the church, this one world leader will come on the world stage proclaiming to have all the answers. He will say that I am the Messiah, but he is the Antichrist. The Antichrist will cause everyone, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. 666, six, six, the mark of the beast. You will not be able to buy or sell anything unless you have that mark in your right hand or in your forehead. But if you take it, you will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. Repent. Change your minds. Lay hold of your salvation. Be sure of where you are spending eternity. Stop gambling away your soul. Stop taking the gamble that there's no heaven, that there's no hell, because there is. And if you reject the Lord Jesus, you will find yourself in hell. Please lay hold of your salvation. Every single one of you has a choice where you spend eternity. Because Jesus will not turn anybody away who comes to him. Go to the Lord Jesus. Because there's no other way. There's no other truth. And there's no other life. Only Jesus Christ. There's no other name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. Only Jesus Christ, who said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Be it any man, be it any woman, lay hold of your salvation. This is not a joke. This is so serious because of your eternal destination depends on whether you are going to accept or reject the Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel is that Jesus paid the debt in full on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures. All means all, past, present and future sin. He was buried and on the third day he rose again from the dead. And if you confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is to be saved. I'm not preaching religion. All these different religions tell you all these different things. But only Jesus Christ promises salvation and heaven. For there is none other name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father God but through me. Go to Jesus. Call upon him. Do not be ashamed of the Lord Jesus. Otherwise he will be ashamed of you when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Lay hold of your salvation. Be sure of where you are spending eternity.
do not take a gamble that there's no heaven, that there's no hell. Do not take a gamble that Jesus isn't who he says he is, the way, the truth and the life. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Lay hold of your salvation by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. How that Jesus died on the cross for all our sins. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day. If you confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is. But God resists the proud and he gives more grace to the humble. Be humble enough to acknowledge and say, of course I have sinned. The Bible says we all have sinned. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for anybody who believes. No matter what you have done, turn to the Lord. He will abundantly pardon and receive you. It doesn't matter what you're doing, what you've done, go to the Lord Jesus. He promised from his own mouth that he will not turn you away. But he also said, unless you change your mind, unless you repent and believe the gospel, you will all perish. Why wait until you're in hell before you realise how real it is? Heaven and hell are two literal places. Just as real as what you are seeing and existing in now. And your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus Christ will result in where you, which one you spend eternity in. Heaven or hell, the choice is yours. Jesus will not turn you away. Please go to him now. Lay hold of your salvation. Don't take the gamble that there's no he hell, there's no heaven. Because there is. And there's only one name under heaven, given to us by which we must be saved. And it is Jesus Christ. No man's making it to heaven but through the Lord Jesus Christ. If we say that we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar, and his word and his truth are not in us. But if we confess our sin, Jesus is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and his word is not in us. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and unto our God for he will abundantly pardon, he will abundantly forgive and receive you. It doesn't matter what you've done, turn to the Lord Jesus, he loves you, he doesn't want you to spend eternity in hell, in outer darkness where you'll be tormented for eternity. God isn't willing that any should perish. God wants all to be saved. And all can be saved, no matter who you are, no matter what you have done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever, because time is running out. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Please lay hold of your salvation. If you want to make it to heaven and escape the damnation of hell, then the only requirement is that you believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. How that Jesus died on the cross to take the penalty in full for all our sins, past, present and future sins. He was buried on the third day. He rose again from the dead. And if you confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But Jesus said, unless you repent and change your mind, you will all perish. That means you'll end up in hell if you reject the Lord Jesus. Please, change your minds, repent, believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Time is almost up. Time is running out. 
Jesus Christ is about to come and take all believers up into heaven in the rapture and then this world is going to be turned upside down. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved. You will be saved and you will never lose your salvation. I'm going to call it a day, guys, because <clears throat> I would like to take a cup of tea or coffee, but um, when I do that, I have to take all the stuff up myself because I'm on my own. I can see many people um, looking at the faces of many people. Many people were touched today. Many people were touched by the gospel. And many people found out how simple it is to be saved. But it's not about religion, it's about believing in here the death, the burial, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, calling upon him. That's it, that's salvation. That's all it takes. If anybody tells you anything else other than believe, then don't listen to them. Because the only requirement is to believe. Jesus, Jesus Christ said, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that whosoever believes on him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life, and their name shall be written in heaven. All right, God bless you guys. See you soon. See you soon, guys.